here on Punta Cana Wow! It's called Esmeralda Beach and we have to drive it's over an hour meters. with our rental car We guess it's not crowded with tourists since it's a free beach with free access like it does not belong to a hotel This is actually our first beach we are going to visit and I got told it's one of the best beaches here on Punta Cana and I really hope it's not gonna be packed and crowded These are actually the beaches we are looking for so Let's see. We are in the middle of nowhere and I hope the beach will look like that as well. No tourists, no people, nobody. And we also parked around 200 meters on the other side because we didn't want to drive this way. We were scared of it. So we're gonna walk and let's see how the beach will look like. We parked on the left here. I can hear the ocean, but I can't see it. There was a lot of seaweed unfortunately when we got there. It's seasonal and started happening about four years ago after a shift in ocean currents. So now it's constantly coming up to the shore. We are going to walk all the way to the end of the right side. Other than that, the beaches are beautiful and we had a great time and even met some new friends. And yes, I met the dogs. <laughs> why our bill got so expensive and now I actually found out that we paid 20 euro for this cheese like this one has to be good <laughs> how is it possible that feta cheese is this expensive and I didn't find any price tag with 20 euros on it <laughs> The portions are so big. I got risotto with avocado and it looks so good. And the view is also very, very nice. You will always need your ID and you will have to get a QR code so you can get into Capcana. Otherwise, they won't let you in. So I guess there is like an app which you can download and then you can type in all your personal information. There is like security guards, they are checking everyone and everything. I was just about to say hi guys 
Wow, what a great beginning! Hi guys and welcome to Santo Domingo! This is actually a perfect start to let you know how Santo Domingo is. It is so crowded over here, so much traffic, a lot of cars, people, scooters, so much is going on over here and we are here already for two hours. We've been at a popular street which is called... I'm gonna blend it in because I forgot again, but it's the most popular street here for tourists. And it was actually very beautiful over there. And I have to tell you what we're gonna do later on. So first of all, we drove from Punta Cana with our rental car here to Santo Domingo for two hours and 40 minutes. There are tolls, but it's not expensive. We pay for every toll about 100 pesos. So we paid all together maybe like 500 pesos, I guess, right? 500? Something like that. It's not expensive. And then our next plan is going to be, we are going to Bani. Bani, how was it called? Cue himself, Bani. So it actually looks like a desert, not that orange, only like kind of yellowish. But I have to show you guys how this location will look like. It's incredible. And we are going to drive there also for like an hour and a half. And then we have to go back home and have to drive four hours. But it's totally worth it, you will see. It's an amazing location and not many people know about this place. And I'm so excited to show you guys Tunes on Bani. Walking back to the car from Dunes of Bani, we spent here two hours and we are the last ones. Here's nobody. So nice. But maybe you can see it, I'm gonna show you. We heard a thunderstorm. It's coming and we saw lightning, so it's probably gonna rain. I'm telling you guys, it's so hard to walk this way. I have sandals on and it is so hard. Like um completely with sand on my back. I'm so happy to take a shower soon. We have to drive back home for four hours. Four hours until Punta Cana. Yay, I'm so happy. And it was totally worth it though. We paid a hundred pesos for one person. So 200 together, it's nothing for this incredible location here. very early today because we want to see the sunrise and sunsets are not that beautiful here on the side of Punta Cana and this is one of the most beautiful beaches for a sunrise see you at that beach Cause our love is too strong for that kind of talk to be more than a thought Uh, we are on the Sauna Island now and we are looking for a nice 
spot which we found on Instagram, but we cannot find it. Usually, uh, we would have three hours here on the island, but now we got only two, so they took us an hour and we are so in a hurry now. And I really want to find this place because right now we are in a very touristy area. So many people who want to sell you something and it's so annoying. I just want to rest. But the fun part about an excursion is that you're gonna find friends as we did over here. They are from Colombia. Hello. <laughs> Hi. And I already learned a lot of Spanish because of them. Like we had a two hours boat trip which took us here on that island. And meanwhile, they were actually teaching me Spanish. <laughs> The guys are going to repair the swing because it's so beautiful. believe what happened over here so our car broke down 10 minutes before arriving at home and you know why because we ran out of fuel so apparently the display was wrong and wasn't showing us the correct number usually we had about 30 kilometers left until we had to drive to a gas station we were so lucky we weren't in the middle of nowhere and locals were so kind and helping us thanks to them and even an uber driver we could get home with this car what an experience Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, bye. 